It's around 2730 BC. Legendary emperor Shen Neng, regarded as the father of Chinese medicine, is exploring the benefits of marijuana for everything from malaria to poor memory. Use soon spreads across the continent. Though even back then, overuse supposedly caused blindness, sexual problems, and hallucinations, or as they called it, seeing devils. Irish doctor William O'Shaughnessy introduced weed to England and America in 1840, treating seizures, nausea, and menstrual cramps. Queen Victoria's doctor prescribed weed for his patients, leading many to wonder if the queen ever took a toke to ease the pain of her monthly cycles. Across the ocean blue, George Washington grew hemp, but it wasn't the kind that gets you high. Still, rumors persist he used it for toothaches. Remember, he ended up with wooden teeth. Soon, weed was in all sorts of medicines. A paste treated corns on the feet, cannabis cigarettes for asthma attacks, cough mixtures given to both adults and children. Books at the time listed dozens of medical uses for weed, but it didn't last. In the early 1900s, laws designed to crack down on heroin and cocaine began to target marijuana, and public hysteria grew. The campy 1936 film Reefer Madness popularized weed's negative image. If you want a good smoke, try one of these. Showing stone teens attempting to rape and kill, going insane, and committing suicide. Soon, marijuana possession and distribution were illegal. And in 1970, marijuana was classified as a Schedule I drug with a high potential for abuse and no accepted medical use.